Welcome back to Elsinore. Last episode we discovered a new ending, one where our father and our brother are exiled, but at least left alive. And Hamlet, and I guess us as well, kind of take control of, of ruling Denmark. Not a great ending. Not terrible. Our family ends up exiled permanently. Yeah. Anyway, there's four endings that we have not finished or unlocked in the Hand of Dionysus. And we have two leads that are not complete. Claudius coming undone and Prince Fortinbras' threat. Um, I'm going to try to focus on Claudius coming undone. So we've gotten up to the point where after Gertrude dies, Claudius is a wreck and they ask us to, to comfort them and just like, be with them as they fall asleep and then they get all creepy and everything. And well, that's all we've done so far. We haven't advanced past that and I'm not entirely a hundred percent sure why. So let's just gather information. Let's just get back to this point and see what happens. See if something goes wrong. Um, I think uh, there's multiple ways to kill Gertrude. Of course, I think the one I want to do though, is uh let's go with the poisoning remember that if we really 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 try to encourage irma and gertrude and and others i think to uh discipline hamlet for their behavior irma ends up poisoning the food uh, intending just to kill hamlet with the poisoned food but gertrude ends up accidentally eating it and i think gertrude and hamlet both die i think that's the one i want to do because <sighs> If I'm going to see this through to the end, I want to make sure that the king stays alive. That's most likely what happened when it went wrong before is probably the king died, I'm guessing. So I figure it's better if Gertrude is killed undoubtedly because of somebody who's not Claudius. In this case, Irma. Like, without a doubt, it's Irma who did it. There's no wondering. They, I think they just straight up admit to it. So that seems like the best option. Ah. So, <laughs> so uh, I guess I remembered wrong because Irma poisons the king, Claudius, and Gertrude. Whoops. That did not accomplish what I wanted to accomplish. In that case, how do I kill Gertrude? I can only think of one way. If I tell Polonius to be careful of Hamlet, then Polonius ends up uh, leaving, or leaving or not going, I'm not sure which, uh, to Gertrude's chambers to spy on the conversation between Gertrude and Hamlet. And that leads to Hamlet and Gertrude killing each other. That's the only way I can think of. I, I guess I'll do that. Alright, gotten to the point where Hamlet and Gertrude are dead because they killed each other in their argument or whatever exactly happened in there. Um, and we just comforted the king to fall asleep. It's Saturday morning-ish. Now, I guess the biggest thing I need to do is just keep the king alive and make sure none of us die prematurely. Yeah, this is the part that I don't... Every time I've gotten here, I don't think I've ever seen this play out. Right before I left, he mentioned he would send someone to find me later today. I wonder what for. I don't think anyone has come to find me later today. Have they? A future event in which Claudius requests Ophelia's presence in his chambers. Wait, does it just appear on the timeline? Wait, what? That's in the past. And it's impossible. But they said later today. Why would it be earlier? I don't understand. I'm pretty sure that's the thing I need to continue this. But why would it be before Claudius even mourns his dead wife? That doesn't make any sense. I don't get it. I 
but I'm not going to get caught snooping around their chambers. Maybe they'll like me more because of that. What events happening in here? I thought you'd gone. If you'd like to return to your chambers, you're free to go, of course. I really don't understand this impossible event. Yeah, I think in the past I've l just waited the day out and nobody comes to get me. It doesn't go any further with Claudius. The end? I want to talk to the king. Yeah, just like I thought, nobody came to get me, just spent time until we ended up dying. I have an idea, though. I think the reason the event was both impossible and in the past, even though it's, you know, the dialogue said, learn about an event where in the future, someone would come to get me, sent by Claudius. Weird way to word that when it can actually be in the past, but I think the reason is because... um. Gertrude is dying too late. If I take the route where Gertrude and Hamlet kill each other, they die on Saturday morning. That's the day before the last day. That's two days forwards from the first day, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So I think I need Gertrude to die sooner. I've gone ahead and told Hamlet about Gertrude's diary and the affair. So that's got him really pissed at both Gertrude and King Claudius. So, the Gertrude part is good for what I'm trying to do, but not King Claudius. I can't have King Claudius dying. Also, I'm pretty sure this leads to the confrontation where Hamlet challenges the king to a duel or something like that, and then Hamlet gets killed. So if I remember right, I don't think this is going to lead to Gertrude's death. So, I don't know, we're going to see how it plays out, see if... I'm remembering right, and that is what happens. I'm also thinking a good strategy for making the king like me might be to basically throw everybody else under the bus so that they think... Just try to get in their good graces as much as possible, you know? Like, for example, throw my father under the bus. I... What? Also, throw Gertrude under the bus as well. Tell the king that Gertrude was searching through your stuff. Have I ever done this before? Let's see. Saw the queen rummaging through your things. Gertrude? You saw my wife? You're certain? As the day is long, my lord. Hmm. How odd. I inquired with my wife directly, assuming she would naturally have been in my chambers, and yet she denied it. This sounds familiar. I think we did do this before. I thought Hamlet unveiled the truth before the court about Gertrude and King Claudius when they uh, dined and had dinner, but actually no, that was yesterday. I was here. That's Thursday. Yeah, Thursday evening, which is the first day. But no, the unveiling of the truth is actually Friday evening. Mm. The other way of killing Gertrude, between Hamlet and Gertrude, that argument where they both die, that happens early in the morning on Saturday. So this... If Gertrude does die here, this could work for being able to access that event where King Claudius sends someone to come find me, because it was only a little bit in the past. It, it could potentially work. Yeah, let's see what happens. Uh, uh, no. Yep, yeah, the duel. Uh, yep. And then Hamlet's dead. Okay, that does not work. Oh, 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 hold on. Okay, so after Hamlet died, Gertrude was inconsolable. They ran over here to the cemetery. The king came after them and a bunch of other people, me and, and Horatio and Irma. And uh, I think this is the scene where the ghost appears. Ghost appeared before and did something that led to everybody dying. Like, I think the ghost appeared. The king tried to stab the ghost. Their sword went right through the ghost and they just kind of stab everybody behind the ghost. <laughs> Sounds silly when I say it, but something new is happening. I didn't even think of this, but remember, the ghost is gone. The ghost is, like, permanently gone. So look at what's happened. Um, 
Claudius, you are my wife. I made a vow to protect you, and I'll uphold that vow no matter what. Ophelia, wait. Horatio, Ophelia? Ophelia. I thought last time the ghost didn't appear. Yeah, last time the ghost did appear. So this is new now. Yeah. Yeah, where is this going to lead now? Before, we ended up dying here. We never got to see how this played out any further. Don't. Don't you dare touch her, Claudius. Shut the hell up. She's my wife. I'll do as I please. Gertrude. Get up. Now. Stop making a scene. Damn, Horatio. Nice. <gasps> what have you done? Is... is he... Horatio. <sighs> it is done. Throw me in jail if you like, my lady. Or have me hanged. Or worse. I could not bear to watch him take another step. Not after... <laughs> Hamlet. <sighs> no. It is done. Thank you, Horatio. We must bury the dead. Soon. This is very interesting where this is going to lead. Because normally either Claudius is left alive towards the end and Hamlet is out of the picture, or Hamlet is left alive and Claudius is out of the picture. Right? Because King Claudius either keeps being in power or King Claudius dies and then Hamlet starts to, if not be in power, at least plan to be in power after the vote. But in this case, they're both dead. So now what? This is very intriguing. I'm glad I found this. I didn't think about the ghost thing. Are there any other cases where the ghost appeared and they won't now and that could change things? Uh, I don't think so. I really don't think so. Any events on the timeline? Oh, Gertrude despairs. That's, they're going to despair more, I guess. Wait, what? Hold on, Gertrude, where are you despairing? On the walls. Oh no. They're going to despair on the walls? I hope they don't plan on jumping. Gertrude? Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> okay, I think they jumped. But also... What? I was right behind him. And then they just disappeared? <laughs> and now the event's over? H huh? I'm not quite clear on what the hell happened there exactly, time-wise, but, uh... It is them that died, I'm sure. Yep. So now the whole... The whole royal family is dead. The King of Denmark, the Queen of Denmark, and the Prince of Denmark. Now what? Jeez. I don't know what I do other than just wait. And then I'm sure Bernardo's going to make an announcement. And then we'll probably understand more what to do from there. Yep. Something's happened. This time I do want to listen to the announcement. Apologies for disturbing you. Mm -hmm. The king has passed. As a result of festival or celebrations, uh huh. And the queen's death was truly entirely unexpected. We found her at the foot of the eastern wall this morning on the beach. We're not sure what occurred or whether she was alone at the moment she died. Truly? How awful. Some of you know that Hamlet has also departed us far too soon. He lost a duel against the king. Hamlet was a lifelong friend of mine. I'll miss him from the deepest part of my heart. 
With both the king and the prince having passed, we are left without a clear direction to proceed. I'm afraid the throne will remain vacant until the nobles can reconvene. I apologize, everyone, for the disturbance, but sudden death like this always warrants a heightened awareness. I encourage all of you to report anything troubling you see to me at once, and remain within the castle if possible. Ratio shatters and will not recover. Yerma becomes upset, but will recover overnight. That's very surprising that Irma will recover overnight when Gertrude is basically their daughter. Yeah, I don't know what to do now. Oh, the castle's being stormed already on Saturday? I guess it comes earlier when they learn about what's happened. They're like, they're weak now. Let's go in now, probably. Uh, this, like, this seems the same, except, um... Normally, Prince Fortinbras stabs the king, who normally is here. Now Surrender. they're not. The day is one before you have carried forth. Okay. Bastard. Who are you to march in here and demand the throne for yourself? Laertes is definitely going to get stabbed. We'll never give Denmark over to you. Not while I'm still living. What? Where are those of royal blood who would rise to meet me? Uh. All dead. We see. So the true royal line has ended. I and my sister remain. Both of us are willing candidates to the throne. Well, thanks for telling him that, uh, brother. Hmm. You are Laertes, this hot-tempered young rebel? Of course. I am, and I am proud. If you expected us to merely roll over, you'd be wrong. Then you forced my hand. Men to arms. Better to eradicate this line than to regrow it from an inferior branch. Ugh. A sight like this befits the battlefield, but here shows much amiss. Out of respect for all this land has suffered. Go. Bid the soldiers shoot. How curious. So, some noble element of Elsinore remains, massacres aside. Uh. And what will you do with me? Hmm. What is done to all houses who fall from grace? Exile. Certainly it is no longer safe for you in Denmark. Many of you noblemen have turned to my allegiance, and as a lady of this court, you represent the old ways. We will not feed you to their dripping fangs. Okay, we've... Yeah, this is just now the same as... If, even when the king is here and they get stabbed by Prince Fortinbroth, this part is the same. So this is not going to be a new ending. Sacrifice everyone for myself. Yeah, that's that's not a new ending. So, more attempts to get Gertrude killed as early as possible. I told Quince to put on a play about the affair. So, everybody... Well, I guess not everybody, but a lot of people are going to know about Gertrude's affair all at once. Is I going to get them killed? I have no idea. But, uh, well, the play is going to happen late on Friday, so compared to around Saturday morning, this could end up killing Gertrude earlier. Let's see what happens. Welcome, one and all. The Greedy Mistress. Ah, the name's different, finally. The Greedy Mistress. Uh-huh. The title alone gives me pause. Is this appropriate, my dear? <laughs> <laughs> Nonsense. This sounds like a riotous amusement. Carry forth. What? The Greedy Mistress. That's not what I intended to... Hamlet? N nothing. Ladies and gentlemen... Our play begins in the court of an ancient kingdom, where a fair king lies sleeping as his queen flits away on slippered feet. Down to the stable, where she meets with another man. Not only that, the king's own brother right under his nose. Ah. We must tell no one, not a single whisper, my love. <sighs> 
You won't have time to whisper with your mouth under mine. That... not sexy. Such nastiness. <laughs> they make the beast with two backs in every conceivable location, ladies and lords. In sunshine and shade, in filth and in wealth. <laughs> what if my husband should find us? Then he'll know that my love for you burns brighter than anything in this world, and that I am unafraid. I have stolen his most prized possession. Why should I worry? I have won! Well, there's a lot to unpack there if you wanted to unpack it, but I think I'm going to leave that in the box. Th this, this is awful. When the queen's own son leaves for faraway lands, she even makes love to her brother-in-law on her son's bed, knowing the door is locked tight. Uh. Oh god, I hate this. Both men have been in my... Both men have been in my body. Their flesh is my flesh. Their lust is my love. Oh, my illicit queen, I'd ravish you anywhere. Yes, even here. <laughs> Hold on. Something I'm not quite clear on, and maybe I should leave it that way, but I'm not going to. Both men have been in my body. Are they talking about their son, right? Because before that, it says she even makes love to her brother-in-law on her son's bed. And then she says both men have been in my body. Both the person... F Fucking her and also her son? Is that what she's saying? That's how I kind of felt it was at first, which makes it infinitely creepier. But also says, their lust is my love. That sounds like they're talking about the king and the king's brother, not their son. I I don't know. No more of this. This is quite inappropriate. Excuse me, stop this. Yes, it's, um, it's, I'm feeling faint. Please, haven't any of you a single shred of mercy? Or have you each been laughing at me all this time? Hmm. <laughs> While I may not have penned the sordid story myself, I can't say I disagree. She's been everywhere and back in the months I was gone, Horatio. Who knows what she's done? Uh, what the hell did you say? Louder, boy. No. I have no reason to back down now. You heard precisely what I said, Claudius. My mother is a whore. And now, thanks to this play, the whole castle knows it. Not that they didn't already. Queen Gertrude now wants to destroy Queen Gertrude. Yeah... I feel like they're going to go to that wall. Learn about a future event in which Gertrude despairs. Silence! How dare you? Is this going to end in a duel? You would tell lies like this in front of my court? In front of my wife? Draw your sword. Uh, uh. Okay, yeah, I think this is just the same duel, isn't it? Um, I don't think there's any reason to read all that text. I'm pretty sure it's the same. Yep, same result. Hamlet's dead. It is done. My baby, my only son. Okay, yeah. Between what just happened and Hamlet dying... Gertrude, I'm pretty sure she's gonna go kill herself. My love. No. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. You killed him. This is now seeming very similar to the one before where Gertrude despairs in the cemetery. We all end up there and then Horatio stabs Claudius. This could turn out like that. Yeah, isn't Stop. someone going to follow her? That's also the same as what happens in the... Uh, what we just saw. 
what are our timelines looking like? Queen is inconsolable after Hamlet's death. Yeah, that's happening in the same location. Yep. Well, uh, how about we're there where Gertrude despairs at the wall this time? We'll be there beforehand? I think... Like, the only thing I can think of is that Gertrude went up to the wall over here? Like, on the other side? And that's why we didn't see them? Where can we walk on the wall? Oh, it just ends there. Yeah, I think they came up this way. You never come up this way when you click on going to the wall. Okay. Whoops. Wait, did I? Did... Oh, you're coming to talk to me. Okay, I thought maybe I clicked on something and ruined something. So, is that Horatio coming to tell me that the king is dead? Ophelia? Yes? Something wrong? You've got to come quickly. I believe the queen is a danger to herself at the moment. She needs you. She's in the graveyard. Let's go. Take me to her. Okay, yeah, ended up the same way as the other one. Horatio stabs the king, so this time let's follow them. This is an uncomfortable wait. There's not much left in the event. Do we get a chance to talk with them, or does it just happen? I've let everyone down. Absolutely everyone. Oh. Oh no. Okay, good. Whew. Maybe we can do something. I cannot live for this. I'm sorry. I cannot obey your law. Even though I know it is the gravest sin. Every minute I spend forcing a smile, feeling like I want to die. I feel such a weight upon me. Hamlet, if you can hear my prayers, help me. Everything we worked so hard to build has crumbled without your presence. Our son, our kingdom, your legacy. I tried to keep it all together, but it was like sand slipping through my fingers. Hamlet. My love, my husband. Can't you see the hell I'm in? Speak to me, please, if you're there. After he died, I thought I could go on. I thought I would recover. But I haven't. And my head is screaming at me that the world would be better off without me. That I wouldn't make everyone else around me miserable anymore. That they could all move on and find happiness if I were just gone. I know it feels that way, my lady. But it isn't true. It's only the voices in your head. Let's go somewhere warmer and talk a while. I want to help you. But first, you must come down from that ledge. Take my hand. No! My mind is made, my purpose clear. Here will I set up my everlasting rest and shake the yoke of inauspicious stars from this world-wearied flesh. I brought this on her. We did. <laughs> Gertrude very clearly called out for Hamlet to talk to her. But since the ghost is permanently gone now, they didn't appear. I feel like if I had done this before, they were permanently gone, that they would have appeared there. I wonder what would have happened. What would have happened? Maybe they wouldn't have jumped. But I can't do that without just completely restarting. That's just not possible now. Now the royal family is dead again. Since we caused so much havoc and interesting results from uh, having a unique place
clay performed by Quince. I think we should try them all, just poke around and see what happens. So this will be the third one we've seen. Remember the kind of default play is the one where they reveal to everybody, sort of, sort of reveal, uh, at least imply what Claudius did to kill their brother. The whole poison in the ear thing. They do that because Hamlet asks them to. So that's the default. We just asked him to do the Gertrude affair thing. And now I just asked him to do the Hamlet is acting strangely thing. I have no idea how that's going to play out. Let's see. Welcome one and all. The the Comedy of Errors. Stone Prince. Hmm. Don't think we've seen this one before, have we, my love? <laughs> no, but it sounds quite entertaining. What? what? What is this? This isn't what I wanted. My lord. Are you alright? No, I'm not. But it's too late now. Ladies and gentlemen. We come across a young prince lost in a dark place. His father, you see, was murdered by a vengeful rival, cut down in the prime of his life. And yet here the prince sits, overcome with his own thoughts, unable to even lift his sword to action. He rests his chin upon his fist, back hunched as though from years of labor, yet for all his father's years of toil he has none. Wait. Is this about me? How horrible. Centuries pass, and the young man turns to stone. Meanwhile, his father's usurper storms the castle, stealing the throne. The prince's men go to him and shake him, begging him to rise and fight. But it is then they realize he is no longer a man of flesh, but of stone. And the stone prince is carried to the basement to gather dust. <laughs> Excellent, excellent. What a clown. Why? This isn't funny. None of this is funny in the slightest. Oh, come, Hamlet. Don't be so sensitive. The only cause I would have to take offense from it were if you thought it was fact, not fiction. Well, the betrayal of the young man certainly resonates, at the very least. Why, if these four walls were falling down around you, you'd still sit there paralyzed with fright. Don't be so easily offended. You really are such a child. And you really are a monster. Indeed, after all these years, I've never seen you for who you are so vividly before. Dearest, please, both of you. I think that's enough. Hamlet? Wait. Oh. Well, that was odd. <clears throat> well, sweetmeat served in the Grand Hall shortly. <laughs> Hamlet shatters and will not recover. Hamlet no longer wants to investigate King Claudius or Queen Gertrude. Now wants to avoid everybody? Yeah, pretty much everybody. I'm trying to think of how I could use that. I'll be damned if I know. Father. Just follow him, I guess. Show yourself. I know you're listening. God, I wish the ghost hadn't disappeared. Nothing. Please. I had a plan, Father. I was going to reveal him before the entire court, but it failed. Don't tell me Hamlet's going to kill themselves, too. Is that what happens with all of these? You just have somebody kill themselves? I am a failure. I look the fool. Father, the mantle of my life is crushing me beneath its weight. I want to die. I want to stop the pain so badly, Father. I'd do anything. I... I'm sorry. Hamlet! What are you doing up here? Where are the others? Does anyone else know you're up here? Ophelia. I failed everyone. I failed to protect my father's life and to avenge him of his killer. I'm the laughing stock of everyone I've ever known and loved. Even my closest friends have turned on me. Hamlet. Oh, 
Hamlet. Please stop, I beg of you. <laughs> Mother, go away. Why are you doing this? I thought it might be worth standing up to that villainy, but there's no point. Why must violence beget more violence so endlessly? Farewell. Time to rid the world of one more pile of human filth. No! <laughs> this isn't real, is it? I hurt him so much. I couldn't help you this time, Hamlet. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Gertrude shatters and will not recover. Learn about a future event in which the queen is inconsolable after Hamlet's death. That might be different from the other inconsolable event. Because with the usual inconsolable event, um, King Claudius comes to talk with Queen Gertrude, and Queen Gertrude is extremely angry at Claudius because Claudius killed their son. But in this case, Claudius didn't kill them. Why must you blame you. me? Please don't let him near me. Yeah, this is Claudius. gonna... Yep, 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 yep. This is playing out the no. same way. So, now we've done the affair play. We've done what's wrong with Hamlet the play. This is the default. Claudius killed King Hamlet. Next is my father's death. My father will die, and none of the royal family will mourn him, not even the king. If he knew that, maybe he wouldn't sacrifice himself for the queen. Okay, I'm a little bit confused. I was just waiting for the play, and then I checked the timeline, and it says that the play is an unlikely event. Why? Everybody has dinner, and then afterwards, it's just not going to happen? No, it seems like it is. Something's happening. What is this, if not the play? Welcome, one and all, the false wise man. Well, this definitely seems real. This doesn't make any sense. Apparently it's both impossible that Quince puts on a play about my predicament, but also we're currently in the event where Quince puts on a play about my predicament. Hmm. Don't think we've seen this one before, have we, my love? Not familiar to me, no. The false wise man? And a uh, fascinating choice for performance. Yes, that's ought to be interesting. Ladies and gentlemen. In the kingdom of a certain Lord Gonzago, there rests a terrible predicament. He finds himself assaulted by his enemies at every step, embattled and in need of some good advice. Woe be to him, though. He has only Corumbus, the idiot advisor, at his side. Corumbus fails to inform his master on even the simplest subjects. Hmm. I know not what I hunger for. Corumbus, what ought I to eat for supper? Mm. Oh, my lord, there is soup in the kitchen today. A most wonderful bone broth of savory roots and meats. Mm. But also, my lord, the cook has prepared a freshly caught boar and hanged it in the pantry for preparation tonight. Mm. Of course, there's also a platter of sweetmeats on the hearth and a roast duck in the guardhouse and a hundred other things besides. <sighs> Corumbus, I only wanted your best professional opinion. What good is a list of opportunities to me? I need a firm decision. And if you can't help me with even this, old man, how are we ever supposed to win this god-awful war? What? What is this? Is that supposed to be... me? Such comedy. One night, Corumbus sneaks into the Queen's chambers to observe a most interesting conversation. 
but as the exchange turns heated, he debates with himself. What ought he to do? Should he flee or defend the queen or something more? Unable to decide, he merely cries out and gives away his position. He's run through immediately. Poor Corambus. Dead too soon, and yet not dead soon enough. Oh, I am slain. That's a horrid caricature of me. Not like me at all. <laughs> thus die I. Thus. 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 Oh, for heaven's sake. Is this what the king and queen think of me? Useless and rambling, unable to perform at my basic duties. All these years I thought I was good and dutiful. I him. I've seen quite enough. Ladies, gentlemen, my lieges, please excuse me. Goodness. Dearest, did you request that script? No. I hope Polonius didn't take offense. <laughs> No mind, he'll recover. Good old Polonius, faithful as an aged draft horse. Quince, I think we've had quite enough. A wonderful performance, thank you. Of course. What was that? That wasn't the play I intended to perform. Not in the slightest. I can't trust that Quince fellow at all. I should follow Polonius. Please, Polonius, do not go to the wall. God damn it. I never saw it. All this time. I gave everything to Denmark, and it gave me nothing in return. How could I have been so naive? When Hamlet died, I thought, with Claudius, things would be the same. After all, I've known Claudius all his life, ever since he was born. I even know about... <sighs> well, never mind it. But these people see me as dispensable, useless, obtuse, idiotic. There's no longer any point remaining here. My children and I should have left long ago. This court has done nothing but take from us. My wife, my daughter's purity, my own dignity. I owe these people nothing more. Father. What? How long have you been listening? Long enough to know that I agree. You'd be happier away from all this, living a simpler life. Would you resent me for taking you away from everything here? No. Not if it meant you were happy and free. I've been a horrid father to you, haven't I? Questioning your every move, hovering over your shoulder. You and your brother are the only truth that matters. Let me never forget that. Never again. Okay, so, yay! They came up to the wall, but they did not jump. I don't even think they were really thinking about it. I think they just kind of wanted to be alone. Well, I think I'm going to end the episode here, so I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, well, since our father intends for us to leave, I think I'm going to try to talk to them and also just try to keep them alive in general, which means keeping them away from Hamlet and dealing with the secret vial of poison in the king's chambers. <laughs>